How's it going guys? In this video we're going to be taking a look at the NECA H45 exclusive Halloween 3 Season of the Witch Dr. Chalice Retro Claws figure. I'm lucky enough that I was able to snag one up. Uh, this, as I mentioned, was exclusive to H45, the uh, convention out in California that was celebrating the original 78 Halloween. NECA had dropped this uh, there at that convention, so uh, whatever leftovers they had, they put on their website and I was able to snag one up. So Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, obviously starring the great Tom Atkins. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a quick look around the box and then we'll get them opened up and get a better look at the figure. So it's a retro class figure, so like other retro class figures uh, or recent ones, they have the window already. Uh, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, Dr. Chalice. The night no one comes home. Uh, on the side, we got the uh, cover for Halloween 3. Got a profile shot of the figure. Like a real toys. On the back, we got some photo shots of the figure in different poses and stuff like that. And then on the other side, same thing, we got the uh, movie poster for Halloween 3 Seasons of the Witch. And again, the uh, photo shot of the figure, like a real toys. So let's go ahead and get them opened up and uh, get a better look at the figure. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Uh, for starters, I have to say the likeness on this figure is absolutely spot on to Tom Atkins from uh, Halloween 3. Really, really nice uh, mold they got here. Dig the colors and everything. Uh, the facial expression. Dig the, uh, the hair is pretty nice. Uh, the head does rotate all the way around. Doesn't seem to have too much of a uh, swivel or anything like that. It doesn't go down or up too much. Uh, not to say, kind of a letdown there. But still, I think the likeness of Tom Atkins is pretty spot on. Uh, as for the arms, arm does come up actually pretty smoothly, 90 degrees. Uh, I will say this: the arm could rotate all the way around. But given the retro cloth and like other ones that I've reviewed, uh, the cloth of the figure uh, hinders that movement. But I would it's safe to assume that the uh, arm could rotate all the way around. Uh, looks like there is possibly a single joints in the elbow. Uh, looks like there is a swivel at the top of the bicep. Doesn't seem like there's a ro any rotation in the forearm. There is rotation in the hand and there's a little bit of back and forth in the wrist so really nice really nice articulation there uh other arm same thing uh this one seems to be a little bit more stiff but should come up yeah 90 degrees and again given the uh the clothing on the jacket arm should be able to rotate all the way around if you didn't have the jacket on um once again single joints in the elbow it seems like uh rotation at the upper bicep no rotation at the forearm or elbow and then wrist does rotate all the way around and wrist does swivel back and forth uh, as for the torso articulation doesn't feel like there is any ro torso rotation or anything like that uh kind of a bummer uh from some of the stuff i've seen online I believe people are saying that this is possibly an older or same mold rather as the um, Night of the Creeps. So more than likely it's the same mold. I don't have that figure, but um, and I'm not too big on these retro class figures, but I had to pick this one up obviously because it's Tom Atkins. And um, as for the leg articulation, leg does come up, but again, the clothing kind of hinders that movement. Uh, it does come back. There is a Rotation at the top of the thigh. There is, it appears, single joint in the knee. No rotation at the knee. Yeah, no rotation at the knee. No rotation at the foot, but foot does come back, does come forward. A little bit of a snow, not even swivel side to side. As for the other leg, same thing. Does come up fairly well. Doesn't go back too well. Single joint in the knee. Seems a bit stiff, so I'm not gonna force it. Again, rotation at the upper thigh. No rotation at the foot. Foot does come up, does come back. No swivel. Well, maybe a little bit of swivel, but not too much. 
Uh, and if you really wanted to, you could probably get him to do the splits, but it'll probably split his pants. I have to say, I really like the attention to detail on uh, the shirt. Pretty spot on. Uh, the belt is a nice uh, cloth belt uh, with a little, like a bit of a hard plastic for the uh, belt buckle. Um, honestly, guys, spot it's pretty, pretty spot on. One thing I did notice in getting him out of the uh, box, and uh, I'm not sure if... Uh, if you have this figure, comment down below and let me know. But I noticed that his feet... Looks like he has two left feet. I don't know. I don't know, it seems kind of like a QC issue or something. I will say I do like the detail in the boots. I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, that looks like he has two left feet. So if you have this figure, guys, comment down below. Let me know if yours is the same. Because uh, I'd be really curious to see. If not, uh, yeah, I don't know. NECA failed me. As for his accessories, guys, he doesn't come with much. He does come with a uh, beer bottle of uh, Shamrock Ale. Uh, I don't know if the camera picks this up well enough, but uh, <laughs> yeah, a little nice label there. It is a like a translucent brown plastic, which I really dig. Uh, the label itself is actual like probably like paper sticker label, like just uh, like taped on there. Pretty nice. Uh, you can see the bottle cap there. Another accessory he comes with, guys. He comes with a uh, can of uh, <laughs> Myers beer. It's actually in the uh, font. I don't know if the camera picks it up well enough, but it's actually in the font of uh, Miller. And uh, even when I first saw it, I thought it said Miller on it, but nope, it says uh, Myers beer on it. And uh, yeah, like I said, I don't know. It's pretty tiny, but I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, again, it seems like it's a. Uh, taped on or like a, like an actual label, paper label that's stuck onto this. But really solid detail on this. Uh, you can see a little tab there and it looks like it's actually <laughs> open. But yeah, really nice guys. Really dig in this. Last but not least guys, he comes with a coaster Silver Shamrock novelty with his actual autograph on it. Uh, really, really cool that NECA included this with this bundle. Uh, super excited about this. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep it in the uh, plastic because, uh, yeah, I'm not going to use it or anything. So maybe I'll try to see if I can uh, get this uh, in a frame or something. That would be kind of cool. On the back, it says Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, Universal, Trademark, NECA. Yeah, all that, all that legal stuff. But, yeah, super excited about this, guys. I'm really glad that this came with this. Uh, I already have his signature, uh, as I've shown in previous videos. And... Uh, as I said before, he's like super cool. It was really, really nice when I met him. Finally, guys, I wanted to bring in for a size comparison the uh, Stevie Wayne Fog figure. Just to kind of show you, uh, obviously with the hair and probably with the boots, she's taller than Tom Atkins. I would think if you, I mean, obviously minus the mustache, you could probably do like a custom. Somebody out there can probably do a custom off of this for uh, his character in the Fog to go with Stevie Wayne. That about wraps it up for this video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the figure. Uh, are you a fan of Halloween 3? Which is your favorite Tom Atkins movie? And which is your favorite Halloween film? I know I've mentioned this in previous videos. My favorite is the original 78 Halloween. Uh, I really do love Halloween 2018. And I'm a huge fan of Season of the Witch. In my opinion, I feel like it exists outside of the Halloween franchise. I feel like it should have just been called Season of the Witch. Beyond that, guys, I recently was nominated for YouTube Entertainer of the Month for December by Professor Macabro. So, thank you, Professor. I'll leave a link to the description below to his uh, video where you can go vote. There's also some other great content creators as well that are nominated. So, leave it up to you all to vote for your choosing. Uh, beyond that, just recently hit 390 subscribers. So, super excited about that. I'm 10 away from 400. So thank you so much guys, really, really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, feel free to like, share, subscribe. If you're not new to the channel, thanks again for coming back and for the continued support. I really, really appreciate it guys. Seriously, you guys rock. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy and have a good one.